Well, I had um, a schedule to go, but I didn't realize I had to download the software. Anyway, um, thank you for joining me this afternoon. Um, I have a jewelry haul, part of it mail, and then part of it um, I'd gone to see someone in person. Um, so to start off with, um, I have here a part of the items. So I'd gone to an online auction and this lady had bought something, some things from a lady who had her own clothes out. Um, so I got this brooch for, I think about five and um, everything was like new. And then the lady had a few rings there um, that were vintage. I don't know if any of them are signed, but we have a pearl cluster faux ring. Um, but I thought these would look very nice in my Etsy shop and then here is an s kind of a curling ring there and these are for a pretty small um i want to say that's a size five um and then here's like this one is signed monet at first i thought this piece was a perfume or poison ring but it doesn't open but it's really cute so again this is for tiny fingers um, so, and then this one, I think is J or J chip. So I have a, so that's that. but I thought these were in really good shape. There was one that wasn't in such good shape, but, um, like I say, um, there's that piece. And these are really elegant. The lady who had them must have had uh, kind of fairy fingers. Um, I mean, slim fingers. And then the rest of them, I believe I got 10 rings in total. Here is another vintage piece. And then a nice kind of um, faux piece. Really cute. So. And then this one feels like it's, I don't know, bent backwards, but it is a Sarah Coventry uh, ring. And then this one right here is, um, I snatched this for about five or six, but it's in really good shape. Sorry, that's my son. Um, this is oh, Candyland. I believe this is called Candyland but everything was like in new condition with boxes. She had Whiting and Davis and stuff, um, but really nice uh, vintage, almost new, almost like new. So um, that'll probably go on my Etsy shop. And I think so far that is the haul from that. And then, um, I had gone to see another lady uh, locally, very nice, and she had this really good collection. She says she has more stuff, so uh, I'm looking in the future to see what else she has. So I picked up a couple of watches, um, and she basically um, had the stuff in storage, but this is from the 1991 Dan Curtis Productions. So this is from the vintage show um, Dark Shadows. Uh, Dark Shadows was penned by a gentleman um, and it went on for 26 seasons and then it had like a couple movies and then a, a reboot in the 1990s. So here, um, this has never been taken out, um, but this is supposed to be uh, one of the main characters uh, is Angelique. So um, I, she said that most of the items just need a battery. So um, like I say, I think I got this for about a dollar and, um, to me it was a good deal. And then she had these pins that she brought out from these boards and there are some things that my husband got that were nice. Like this one, Nina Ricky. I believe she's an Avon designer. So it's got the infinity sign. So 
Um, and then I picked this up just, this is a real watch. So just thought that was kind of fun. Um, this is the Zelda franchise and it's for the Wind Waker. It's from 2015 and it still works. Um, she had a Batman, Batman one, but I couldn't find it. So, and then I saw this in the bag. Um, she had everything in the black bags. I just took them out to save time. Um, this is a Su Suzanne, but the brand is Lucky brand with the clover right here. And it they called it a burnished silver. It is kind of almost like a Maltese cross, but it is very well made enamel. So, and I love the back. Um, a nice long chain, I want to say like 18 inches. And then um, she also had this in the bag. And this, at first I almost put this back because I wasn't sure about it, but um, I took it out and I think it just needs to be clean. Uh, but this is a nautical a life saver um, and uh, this is a Betsy Johnson piece she's got her signature right here and um, when I looked this up I found on comps that this very same necklace dark blue and everything sold for at least a hundred um, and the listing said that it had been retired and rare, so I don't know. Um, but like I say, I, I just think it needs to be cleaned up. And of course, I list in my store, you know, the conditions and items. I'm very careful about how I, um, of how I uh, pick things. So just a really nice, long chain but if i could get 50 for this that would pay for most of the items and for the angelique watch i couldn't find anything similar except for north point um from about a couple years ago but um uh, i don't have a membership there so um but there was a collins um or barnabas collins uh they were asking at least 60 and they each have their own kind of um, um, theme, like this is supposed to be probably playing the tune of the show, whereas the other one, the Barnabas one, would show his real face and stuff. Um, so, and then I found the pocket watch cover to this, um, and then there's like a little cross. I showed the um, Sears one in another video, but I found the cap to the, to the, or the lid to that, and I'm like, yay, I found it. So I can sell it that way. So, and then this is a little cross here. It's like a new, um, I don't see. Oh, I see uh, China written on here, but it's kind of a cute little cross with hearts. Um, some of the stuff is something my husband shows, so I, I have to separate those. Um, and then this, I started picking up some um, men's statement pieces, like this one. I thought this was unusual. This is a bull ring, very well detailed and stuff just really nice um it's it's really big i want to say it's like a size 10 or something but you can really land a punch with this ring so and then um a necklace that is handmade um still with the tag this is fused glass from fair trade and it's designed, made in Chile. So just a really nice art glass pendant, almost like a zebra 
style, um, but the tag is for partners in fair trade. And it just talks about the artist and stuff. So I thought that was kind of neat. And then this thing was kind of unusual. I will need to clean this one up a little bit, but it, I don't normally pick these up, but this is by the brand black no no rock i don't know why i thought black the r looks like a b so no it says rock rebel so this is a skateboard but it is a belt buckle so um i thought this would be perfect for someone for halloween who's doing like a steampunk or rock punk pirate piece and then this one is love is patient, love is kind, it always protects, always hopes, always perseveres, love never fails. And this is a premier designs piece. Like I said, uh, she had some really good stuff and I can't wait to see what she um, is going to pull out. She says she has like a ton of stuff and um, we just kind of worked around schedule a little lately because I've just got a lot of stuff and then um, got a bunch of lamp work pendants. I mean, for a dollar, I think it was. Um, I could either sell these in a lot, but I love the starfish one. So just little, um, really nice pieces. Um, here's a heart one. I might just end up making this in the necklaces. I usually bead around these, but just really nice because usually I pay, I mean, they're not, they're not that much on eBay, but um, when you find them, I mean, I kind of feel, I kind of wish I'd grabbed all the bags of lamp work because I love lamp work. Um, and then this piece is kind of um, a special piece. This one I'm going to put in a tree of life, but I know exactly what this is. This is something that's handmade in Italy. A large cross these are very expensive I forget the brand however it is kind of cracking I can feel it on the back so I'm gonna put this in a tree of life um, probably bronze brass I'm thinking and then it'll have um, it'll be the center um, maybe we'll see um, I'd probably have to make a smaller tree for it but it is very stunning um, and then what else do we have here? We have a chain link necklace in the form of crosses. So just really nice. Kind of a cute choker. Again, this is my husband. <laughs> um, usually I'm the one that picks out the stuff. Um, and then I'm not sure what this is, but this was kind of an interesting symbol. No, it's a wind chime. That's it. That's a wind chime necklace. And I don't think it's signed. It's really nice. Um, so there's that piece. I don't think there's anything. Oh, yes. Here is a pendant that I picked up. Um, you know, this one's like a keychain thing. This is a pig. Um, this is just in there. Um, and then this is a um, either laser or hand engraved uh, pendant. This is from India. It's a mythological figure. Um, I think it's like a moon. I don't know, um, but it, the style kind of also reminds me a little bit of a Russian art, and I think that's why I was kind of drawn to it. Um, just really pretty and lovely. I'll probably have to do more research on this piece. I still haven't put up the other pieces that I have that I showed you guys in the last haul. Um, <laughs> um, and then... Um, couple of things here. I picked up and I saw this through um, the bag, but I recognized 
the Kate Spade. So this is a Kate Spade bangle enamel gold. And she has really good high quality stuff. So um, it has just a New York minute and Kate Spade, New York. Um, it's in really good shape. It doesn't have any, I think, wear or in, 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 in enamel missing. Uh, so I've seen this go anywhere from 30 to $50. So to pick it up, um, along with the Betsy Johnson made me very happy. Um, and then she had all of these pins in bags. So I started looking through them and I started asking her just offhand if she had a Disney. If she did, she brought that out. Um, cause I had gotten the Eeyore stuff from her, but here are kind of stamp ones. And um, you got the American flag. I thought this would be perfect to put into the shop with everything election going on and stuff. How patriotic would that be to have that? So I don't know if I'm going to sell them separately or put them individually. Um, and then I loved these. I love this rose one. So these are stamps, but they're enamel pins. And some of them, you know, you know it, it just depends. Uh, some of them can go for good money. So here's a USPS one. That's nice. Um, but this one says 200 years of postal service by 15 cents. I mean, very cute and vintage style. So um, for a dollar, like I say. Um, and then I, I don't know if I showed this one. No, I don't think so. So this is a Huskers uh, belt buckle. And it is a popular item. It is a limited edition, 3,677 of 10,000. Through Earn Me Cut Buckle Company. So it is a company in Nebraska. And it's got all these uh, signatures and everything. Um, I've been starting to pick up a couple more uh, belt buckles lately. Um, so... And then um, she had um, all these pins, but I'll get to that in a second. This is something else I had gotten from the mail order, but this is a beautiful costume ring. Uh, it has uh, snakes encrusting around the edge of the stones. So um, I thought that was really nice. I don't know how old it is. It is, it is an sea opal or an opalite glass. I love opalite glass and jewelry. Um, so there's that. Um, and then what else? So she had these pins and she I asked her if she would let me pick and choose which ones I wanted and she did so I'm just getting them all out here I think you guys are gonna like these like I said I, I uh, got a lot um all right so she I can't remember the order I got these in, but she had this one, which is Marvin the Martian in a Van Gogh, Van Gogh scene. Um, and it says movie Warner Brothers World. And it says the pin number 0515. So I just thought that was really nice. And it's nice enamel. And then um, picked up a Pokemon piece. Just really sweet. Um, I don't remember what creature or the name of this one is, but official pin Pokemon 2015. Yeah. So like I say, I don't know if I'll lock them off or something, but um, Oh, that was nice. And then, yes, um, I found a couple of um, 
hard rock cafe um, pins in the past. And I kind of collect them and I think I'll put it into a lot, but I haven't found anything on this one, but it's, it rotates. It's a spinning wheel, spin the wheel kind of game. So it says, uh, crazy, crazy night. I do try and stop me. I don't, uh, last chance, kiss me goodbye, rock and roll all night. So, um, and it has the little authentic, um, signature there. So, like I said, this was kind of really nice to find. Um, nice big pin. And then, um, everything was a dollar, um, for these pins. And then I, I mean a dollar a piece. Um, and then, um, I started picking up this. This is the Lion King. So, and then um, she had this one in a bag. It wasn't on the board, but it's Living Seas, Epcot. Um, and then M. So just really, really nicely done. It has like the certified uh, Disney Parks piece. Um, so there's that. And I picked up this Pluto one. I've sold Pluto before, but really cute. Um, and then here's a Mr. Potato Head, Darth Vader. It's really nice. Um, and this one was pretty cute. This is a sunglasses mini one. And here is a 606 pin. It's really, really nice. And then here's another Winnie the Pooh one with his pots of honey, rumbly in my tummy. And then here is another uh, kind of a Looney Tunes one. This is Peppy Le Pew. And um, here was a Mickey one, like the old time Mickey mouse. And then this is a Tinkerbell one, kind of like on an iPod or something. And it actually has the headphones, just so cute. And then um, Neat and Pretty, uh, this is an older one, I think. So, there's that. And um, here's a Cinderella one. I think this came out when the new remake came out, because it says, I think it says 2015 or 2016. Um, and then here is, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves pin. So, and then here is Leia, or Minnie as Leia, Star Wars pin. And then um, this one was probably my favorite. This is kind of like a 3D dimensional. There, I think there have been several versions of this in the past, but it says Walt Disney World 1971. Um, and it's got, this is a one issued in 2008. So, but it's really heraldic and really pretty. And then a couple of others. Um, this was a Paris enamel pin, um, Tower Eiffel, made in France. So this is probably a souvenir piece. And then the next two were really good finds, I think, because this is, a Swarovski pin, that's a whale, and it has the signature of the swan on the back. I work a lot with uh, Swarovski. I mean, I'm a hobbyist, so I know crystals. 
a little bit. Um, and then here is a patriotic one. Just really, really incredible detail. I'm always impressed with their work. Um, so I think this I've seen between 20 to 30, this for 20 to 30. So, um, and then this for 40 and then the enamel other pins can go anywhere from five to $10. So all in all, um, and I think I have a couple more pieces. This one was really cool. I found another compact. Um, this is the Arizona State, so it's got all of the 